I was uh, I was on the internet and I found this. Uh, it was it had been digitized. It was an ad. And the, see, these these ads were very common um, ads for people uh, for sale uh, in 1700s and 1800s. And you know, it's like what we put a ad in the paper for a car, a used car. I mean, it's the same thing, but they were people. I mean, it's so it was so common. That's what makes it so heartbreaking. And when I was looking at this ad, it said she has with her a nine month old baby who is at the purchaser's option. And just, you know, you know about the fact that families were separated again and again and again on the auction block. You know about it, but like to see that baldly said like that, just offhand almost, like, oh, and you can have the baby too if you want. And if you don't, then and you just think they're separated, you know, forever. And it just like, it kind of, I guess it drove it home in a way that reading about it hadn't, you know, just seeing it. And then it just led directly to thinking about how do you survive this kind of thing? You know, how do you get up in the morning? I mean, it's literally like that. And, and um, so it became from this woman's point of view and, you know, knowing about lots of other things that people had to deal with back then, it just sort of, the song fell out of the banjo, you know, and so. Take my body, you can take my bones, you can take my body, you can take my bones, you can take my blood, you can take my blood, you can take my bones, you can take my bones, you can take my blood, you can take my bones, 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 you can take my b
got a baby shall I keep it Hi, this is Nick Forster from E-Town. If you want to stay up to date with all the performances, interviews, and behind-the-scenes footage, click the subscribe button. Thanks. <laughs>